combining functions. In this video, we'll use function notation to add, subtract, multiply, and divide functions given as equations. We'll evaluate functions for different values of x, and we'll define the composition of functions given as equations and practice with function composition. One of the great things about naming functions is that we can do arithmetic to combine them. For example, if I want to add the functions f and g, I just take the equation for each function and add them together. I can simplify the result. x squared plus x minus 6 plus x plus 3 is going to be x squared plus 2x minus 3. But it just comes from adding the two expressions together. Similarly, I can subtract x squared plus x minus 6 minus x plus 3 is x squared minus 9. When I multiply the two functions, I just multiply the two expressions and so forth. We have to be a little bit careful with dividing because negative 3 cannot go into this function. It would make the denominator 0. But other than that, it's just like simplifying expressions. And just like evaluating expressions for a given value of x, we can evaluate a function for a given value of x. And the notation that we use is f of the number 5 is the same expression with 5 put in for x. The number in parentheses takes the place of the variable in the equation. And so f of 5 in this case is equal to 24 because when I put 5 in for x I get 24. Now you might be thinking that so far all that we're doing is just putting unfamiliar notation on top of things that are pretty familiar. But when we're evaluating functions, we're not limited to numbers. I could find f of x plus 3. And in that case, I would take the place where x was and I would replace it with x plus 3. So I'm evaluating the expression for another expression. So I put x plus 3 in those places and I would simplify and find that it's x squared plus 7x plus 6. Now this evaluating a function for an expression can be thought of as combining two functions into one. If the second function is g of x equals x plus 3, then what I've done is find f of g of x. The process of combining two functions in this way is called function composition. So if I take f of g of x, I'm doing a function composition. I'm composing the two functions. The notation for that is a round circle. f compose g of x means take f of g of x. If I do that here, f of g of x is f of x squared. And so I put x squared in for x in the expression for f. Expression for f is x minus 5, so when I put x squared in for x, I get that f of g of x is x squared minus 5. Now, function composition is not commutative. So g compose f of x is something different than f compose g. So g compose f would be g of f of x. And that means I should put the expression for f into g where x is. So g has an x 
squared. If I put f inside of where x is, I get x minus 5 squared. So that comes out to be x squared minus 10x plus 25. And it's a different answer from x squared minus 5. Well, we have two functions here. f of x is 2x plus 1, and g of x is x cubed plus 6x. We want to find f compose g. The open circle means function composition, so that doesn't say fog. <laughs> and g compose f. Well, f compose g would be written f of g of x whereas g compose f would be written g of f of x. And that tells what goes inside of what. If f is on the outside, I write the expression for f, and then I plop g inside of it, and that's the composition f with g. Whereas if g is on the outside, I write the expression for g, and I plop f inside it, and that's the composition of g with f. So functions can be combined with arithmetic or with the operation of function composition which means taking a function of another function.